All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect ManyChat and Hot Prospector. Uh, I'm going to show you how to collect name, email, and phone number inside of ManyChat and have it sent instantly over to Hot Prospector. This is pretty slick. Uh, you will not have to use landing pages with this uh, with this method here. So what you're going to do is you're going to sign into ManyChat, and uh, you do need a pro account, which is uh, $10 a month. And you're going to start by going to Settings. And you're going to go up here to Custom Fields. And you're going to add an email and phone number. So you click New User Field here. Type in email. Uh, the, te the type is text here. If you want to put a description, you can put it in here. And then hit Create. Then you're going to do it again. And do phone. Phone number, whatever you want to call it. Text. And then if you want to put a description. And then hit Create. As you can see, we've already created them here in the system. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Growth Tools right here. We're going to add a new growth tool. We're going to go down to the messenger ref URL. Click here. Let's name this one real quick. We're going to say MC to hot prospector and this is just the demo. Save that. And we're going to want to edit this. So we are going to say hey and we're going to add in the person's first name. You just click, uh, select these little brackets right here. Click first name. And we want to offer them something. What are we going to offer them? So you have to come up with something. Uh, would you like access to my highest converting sales funnel? Click the button below. Let me add in a little uh, emoji here. We've got maybe like a down arrow or a finger pointing down. There we go, right there. And then we're going to click Add Button. And we're going to name the button title, uh, say yes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to start another flow. So we're going to create here. So if they click yes, this is going to start kind of another uh, messenger flow. I'm going to select start flow and we don't have the flow set up yet so in this example uh, we can't save or we can't publish this if we don't have the flow so for example purposes we're just going to select a default reply and we're going to replace this here in a in a couple minutes so select this flow we're going to publish this growth tool we're going to go over to flows here and we are going to select new flow now this can be done in let me Finish this first many chat to HP demo create. Now this can be done in uh, flows. It can be done with automations. It can be done with sequences. Uh, just for this video purpose, I'm using the growth tools with the flows. So the person just selected, um, or the person just said yes, they want access to the highest converting sales funnel. Great. We can send you over a video walk through of the funnel as well just enter your email address down down below do the little uh, down symbol again whoops the finger pointing down uh, and what this is is so the so the initial offer was the uh, highest converting sales funnel and so by giving by asking for their email you kind of need to incentivize them you can't just say what is your email so you have to come up with something it's almost like you if you're offering them a lead magnet you want to offer them like a lead magnet 2.0 or an upgraded lead magnet or, or, or some type of an upgrade so a video walkthrough is in addition to the sales uh, to the um, landing uh, the highest converting sales page sales um, funnel I'm sorry and I just noticed we, we need to do the user input. I do this every time. So user input is the pro tool here. Uh, this is just the default text, and I always do it. So you, what you can do is just uh, cut, paste there, and you can just exit out there. So user input, drag it up there. Don't make the mistake like I always, always, always do. Um, so then what this is going to say is we're going to ask for their email address. So what you're going to do is select down select email and then we try if answer is invalid so that it's if it's a valid email address now not a valid email address but a valid format you know a name an at symbol and then a 
mail.com. Uh, and this is completely customizable. You know, you could do something like, er, that didn't work. Why not try again? Something like that if, if you want to be funny. Uh, you can offer a skip button. So if they don't want that, they can just skip this. Or if you want, you can just delete it. It's completely up to you. And then what you're going to want to do is save response to a custom field. So we're going to select here. And those are the, um, the custom fields that we created in the very first part of this video. We'll hit select. Or we'll hit email, I'm sorry. And then we're done here. And then what you're going to want to do is grab the user input. This is where we're going to ask for the phone number. Now, again, you have to incentivize them somehow. Now, if you're working with a local business, it's probably going to be much easier to grab an email address and a phone number from a consumer. Uh, if, if you're in the marketing industry or marketing to other marketers, uh, again, it's going to be you're going to have to incentivize them to give the email and give the phone number just because marketers are jaded about giving that information up. So uh, if it's a local business, it's going to be a little bit easier to grab, an, uh, like I said, an email and a phone number. If you would like a free, and I'm just going off kind of the top of my head here. This, this can obviously be improved. Consultation, please confirm your phone number below. So what this does is Facebook pulls the phone number uh, down below and then they can just click on it and to confirm that that is the correct phone number. Also with the email, it does the same thing and or they can erase that and, and it, maybe they have a new email address or a better email address or a better phone number or a current phone number. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go down and select phone here. And again, this is the uh, we we try message if the answer is invalid. So if the if it's not in ten digit format, you know if they give you six digits, if they give you seventeen digits, uh, it's going to kick back and say please enter the correct phone number. Again, this is customizable. Uh, the skip button, if you want to have that, just leave it here. If not, just delete. And then what we're going to do is enter name, enter field name here. We're going to do phone number. And then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to select an action and we're going to create a tag. So what I like to call this is like full lead, name, email, and phone. So what this does is when the person, whoops, full lead, make sure you hit enter, name, email, and phone. There we go. A tag was created. So what this does is after this person puts their phone number in, they are instantly tagged inside a mini chat that it's a full lead, a name, an email, and a phone number. And this is, uh, I'm going to show you in the Zapier section, this is where the Zapier is going to pull this information here, and then we're going to zap it over to Hot Prospector. So then what I like to do is have like a quick reply or some type of a text, you know, they just enter their phone number. Thank you. Please be on the lookout in your email for the video walkthrough. We'll call you in 24 to 48 hours to set up your free consult. Something along those lines, if I can spell, consult. And we'll just leave it at that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to click on Publish in the upper right-hand corner. And then we're going to go back to the Growth Tools because now we have to connect the correct flow. Because like I said, in the original one, we, we just used the default one. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Add to Button. Whoops, no, I'm sorry. We're going to click on the Yes here, this little arrow. Open up this flow. Whoops, let me go back here. Just click the yes here. There we go. And I'm going to delete this flow. I'm going to start another flow. And we're going to select, click to select a flow. And then we're going to find our flow here, which is MC. Uh, I meant HP. I accidentally did HO. Select this flow. You can see the, um, the one that we just created, the flow here. Uh, that looks like the correct one. Select this flow. What we're going to do is click select publish. And now ManyChat is all set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Hot Prospector. As you can see, I already created a group 
So this is the specific group for the ManyChat subscribers. What you're going to want to do is go up in the upper right, click on Integrations. We are going to select Zapier right here, Manage Campaign. Add New Zap. And we're going to say HP, no, MC to HP Demo. Something along those lines. For the group, it's the same thing. Uh, or it's a many chat, many chat demo. And if you want to add any tags, you can do that here. If you want to remove any tags, you can do that here. Select the status to enable. And then the select the API, we're going to select many chat. There we go. We're going to hit submit. And we're going to use that webhook URL. Um, we're going to use this webhook URL uh, right here in Zapier. All right, we're now in Zapier. And what you're going to want to do is click make a zap. And you're going to select ManyChat here. And what we're going to do is we're going to select new tagged user. That is that full lead with, that we tagged in ManyChat, the name, email, and phone number. Click here. We're going to hit save and continue. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to connect to your ManyChat account. You should just be able to hit uh, or select connect an account. And it should connect automatically. All right, I realized I was actually connected to my account, so I had to um, reconnect to Mark's uh, actual ManyChat account. So you'll connect here. Again, just connect account. If you're logged into Facebook, you should be able to connect right away. Hit save and continue. Or if you're logged into ManyChat, I'm sorry, not um, Facebook. We'll just hit the down arrow here, and we're going to select this full lead right here. Now, let me refresh the fields because that's my ManyChat. We'll hit the down here. All right, sorry about that. I had a little technical difficulties. It was pulling in all of my tags, and I had to clear them out and grab Mark's tag. So here is that tag that we created in ManyChat, that full lead, that name, email, and phone number. We're going to select here, and we're going to click Continue. And we're going to pull in samples, and now that I think about it, we do not have any samples in Mark's account, so this... Um, Yep, this will not work. So let me go back to Mark's account and add in a sample. Um, you will have to have a sample lead inside of ManyChat that's tagged with that full lead tag, that name, email, and phone number, in order for it to work on Zapier. So I'm going to go uh, create a lead in Mark's account and tag them real quick. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I just... Uh, tagged one of his current leads in there and put a dummy phone number, dummy email, so it doesn't show any personal information. What we're going to do is, uh, once you say get samples, it'll grab um, a tagged user inside of ManyChat. We'll hit continue. And what we're going to want to do is add step. We're going to do an action search here, and we're going to need a webhook. This is how we are going to connect Hot Prospector. And we're going to want to post here. We'll hit save and continue. And we need to grab the URL, so we're going to go back and let's see here, look for the Hot Prospector account. Let's grab this webhook. We'll copy it. We'll paste it there. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to map the data. Nope, I'm sorry, we don't map the data here. Yes, we will map the data. <laughs> to pause and uh, just double check on that. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, let's start with name. And you know what? It's first name in Hot Prospector, underscore name. So this is the Hot Prospector and what they call the field, or what the Hot Prospector system refer references these fields. And then this is what the Facebook or the ManyChat calls them. So we'll hit um, the plus sign here. And we're going to grab the first name right here. And we're going to add in another one. Let's do, we'll do last name. We'll hit the plus sign here. Last name. We're going to hit the plus sign here. And we're going to do email. We'll hit the plus sign, and then we'll kind of scroll down and look for the email. So user custom fields email right here. We're going to hit the plus sign here. And we are going to grab the phone number, which is just phone, plus sign, and let's look for the phone number. I just did 555-1212 right here. User custom fields phone number. We're going to scroll down. We're going to select continue. Scroll down. Send test a webhook by Zapier. 
Everything looks like it's working. Click finish. We'll name this app. ManyChat to HP demo. We're going to toggle this on and then let's go demo this to see how it works. All right, so we're back here in ManyChat. We're going to go to Growth Tools and we're going to select this. And what we're going to do is click Setup. And what we're going to do is collect, uh, select this um, select this URL right here. You can do this one. You can click on it. You can copy it to click the clipboard and then you can demo it. So here I'm in the Messenger. It opens up. I'm going to click Get Started. So I'm going to say, hey, Adam, would you like my... Would you like access to my highest converting sales funnel? Click the button below. I say yes. Great, we can send it over to video. Uh, we can send you over the video walkthrough of the funnel as well. Just enter your email address below. As you can see, my email address is right here. I'm going to click on this, confirming it. If you would like a free 15-minute consultation, please confirm your phone number below. Here's my phone number. I'm going to click on this. Yep, that's it. And we're going to get that thank you message that we created. Thank you. Please be on the lookout for your email. In the video walkthrough, we'll call you in 24 to 48 hours to set up your free consult. Let's go back to Hot Prospector. I'm keeping this live and hopefully crossing my fingers that it works. Let's go to Contact Manager. And we are going to select the group, ManyChat, Demo. And we're going to filter the listings. And let's look for the phone number. Uh, filter listings. Whoops, not filter. Contact fields. Phone number, update. And there we go. As you can see, we have name, email, phone number inside the Hot Prospector system. So that is how you connect Hot Pros or ManyChat via Zapier, or Zapier and also Hot Prospector to grab name, email, phone number, and ManyChat. Send it to Zapier. Zapier sends it to Hot Prospector. If you have any questions, please let us know. This is something uh, we, we kind of uh, just started putting together. We had a few questions about it, but we're all really, really excited because uh, now you really don't have to use landing pages. Definitely suggest doing testing it and using both, not to say landing pages um, are bad or anything, but uh, it kind of eliminates that step uh, when you're able to collect email and phone number via ManyChat. So again, if you have any questions, please post them down in the comments below. Thank you.